Welcome back to Norfolk, Virginia, the main hotel. We are here at the 2018 Mid-East Athletic Conference Media Day here in Norfolk, Virginia. Norfolk, Virginia, home of, behold, the green and gold, the Spartans. Joining me now, wide receiver Marcus Taylor and defensive lineman Deshaun Middleton. First of all, I'm distracted right now. I can't even do my job right now. Man, put your feet on the table. What is this? You know, this it's a little drip, you feel me? That's yeah. what? What y'all call that? I call this a drip. The drip, drip, drip? Yeah, the drip. That's supposed to be cool right there? That's cool right there. Who? At least you put some lotion on so your mom would be proud <laughs> to see you. But uh, let's talk some football, man. I'm just giving you a hard time. I, I, like, the, I like the kicks and uh, what I you're doing there. Uh, we talk about Norfolk State. I, I think about Norfolk State. I think about you got one of the most loyal fan bases out there. The folk, the city of Norfolk loves y'all. Uh, but... At the same time, y'all got to get back up there. You know, I've seen y'all play with some of the best teams in the conference, and I've seen y'all struggle with some of the lower teams in the conference. How do y'all become more consistent and more consistent on top in terms of winning football games? Uh, I mean, I basically would just say, like, when it comes to consistency, just to make sure that we're playing as a team uh, week in and week out, that we understand the game plan and believing in our coaches and just believing in each other. So that way that we can stay competitive week in and week out and to know that every game is a big game, and not just you know when it comes to certain people, or just because when we hear a name, uh, we want the ball. So just making sure that you know we we play hard for everyone. What what are some of the changes that y'all are going from the 2017 campaign to this upcoming football season? Well, our line, I would say that's the biggest change. Uh, we have a new offensive line coach, and I just wanted to say like coming out of spring, I can see the transfer and our our blocking schemes and like the blocking is way better. Okay. And with that being said, uh, you got Coach Scott there. You know, he's an offensive guy. You're one of the best weapons they got in the conference. How do they plan on utilizing you a little bit more? You getting more touches? Yeah, I'm getting more touches, but we're not going to say, you know. You're not going to say that? Not too much. <laughs> Football. Hey, touches are touches. You want yeah, no, to play talk there? too much about it, though. You're not going to talk too much about it. I, I got you. Fair enough. Well, when you talk about the stick on the offensive side of the ball, how are you all doing that quarterback position? Uh, quarterback, you know, Jawan Carter, he's very solid. So we're doing very well. He's learning more. He's getting more advanced, so everything's going well. Okay, and then when you think about what you all had to work on as a unit, uh, what was from the inside looking out? See, I'm an outsider looking in, mm -hmm. so I can tell you what we saw, mm -hmm. but you all know inside, what could y'all do to make this offense better? It was, I would just say, uh, we have a lot of things like receivers, drop passes, our offensive line missing blocks and just following the scheme, so I would just say that, Okay. just execution. Uh, defensive side of the ball, I say, I mean, still got, got a physical defense there. What are y'all trying to work on to improve your 2018 performance? Uh, just making sure that we're aggressive. Uh, we coming out from the start, just pushing forward, making sure that, uh, you know, we understand that different blocks are different schemes and execution, making sure that we're going out there, we know what we're doing and playing physical. Uh, you got to be a dog out there. Uh, I can ask, I can ask you all this because, you know, you know, What's the effect of, of, at Norfolk State? What are y'all thinking about with Hampton no longer in the conference? Is that something that? <laughs> we, we're not losing no sleep. You're not losing no, no sleep there? No sleep. I, I mean, that was like one of your bigger games of the year. That was, a, that was one of your rivals, right? And then, you know, the rivals leaving, so y'all just let them go? Yeah, yeah we, like we just going to go ahead. They now. It's like a girlfriend. Yeah. They gone now. We wish them nothing but the best, though. But, you know. you wish them nothing but the best. Yeah. That's all right. So when, when we talk about Norfolk State football, what's your model for this upcoming football season? Come together. It's coming together, um, just coming together as a unit, coming together as a team, as um, far as like coaching staff and as the players, and just making sure everybody's on one page uh, and just understanding that, you know what I'm saying, like at the same time, it's a game of football, it's a game of inches, but also like at the end of the day, um, <laughs> these are the certain people that you're going to have to go get on the bus with, these mm -hmm. certain people that you're going to go practice with, these are certain people that, you know what I'm saying, that you're going to build a relationship with. So just understanding that, you know, it's more to it. So is that something that y'all had to, you had to buy into it. You, you, you saw some little separation there, and y'all are saying we're gonna stick together more. This Not year? necessarily separation, but we weren't cohesive as we should be. So it's just, you know, I've been with Scott for since he's been there. So it's just, it was, it took time. We just had to build, and we finally we feel like we're there. All right, because Norm is Norm is the guy with the flashy shoes, and everybody else trying to do their own thing. That's the one you got to bring in and say, "Look here, come together, man." So, so I'm gonna hold you accountable no, for, 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 for keeping Norfolk State together. What you can do, and you know, we talked a little, a little bit about it. You know, y'all can play with anybody. 
seeing y'all play everybody, not like people going out there blowing out Norfolk State mm -hmm. by 20, 30 points, whatever, when you lose, y'all are always right there in those ball games. Do y'all look at that during the offseason and say, we got to figure out ways to get over the edge? When that game's right there in the graphs, like the Hampton game we talked about, when y'all got it, how you seal the deal. Like the Howard game, we got to seal the deal. Games that y'all should have won, mm -hmm. but somehow got away from you. What do y'all tell yourselves coming up, how to make sure that doesn't happen in the future? Well, spring ball, it started with spring well, It started right after the season with lifting. It just made us more hungry since we seen that we could have been seven and four instead of four and seven. We was just 10 points away from being seven and four. So it just made us hungry, so we just trying to go get it this season. And just with uh, different competitions, like uh, it started, like like you said, right after the season, coming into mat drills and spring ball, uh, just putting ourselves in a little bit of uh, different situations um, that we can really adjust to. So then that way, like pushing us over the edge, making sure that we're ready to go. And, uh, and Coach Scott, you know, he's been there for a while now since class, so you know that. So is this the best team he's put on the team talent-wise? Are y'all the most talented team? that you've had since you've been there? Definitely. And y'all think y'all got the talent. You've been around the MEAC now a couple of times. You, you know what it's going to take to win. Can y'all win it? Most definitely. Definitely. Most all right, definitely. do me a favor. I want y'all to look right there in that camera right there and tell the folks at home why we're going to be look, saying, look out for the green and gold. Y'all just stay tuned. I ain't really got too much to say. I ain't really got too much to say. Y'all just stay tuned. It's New and improved spots. Show. It's definitely going to be an entertaining season. So. Y'all make sure that y'all ready to go, just like we are. That ain't good enough, fella. <laughs> that ain't good enough. You just got to stay tuned. I ain't got I, too much to say. I'm yeah. <laughs> in the action, not a word. Yeah, we don't talk about it. We just about it. All right, well, I'll take that one. They're telling you, actions are going to speak louder than words this year down here in the Tidewater area for Norfolk State University. Best of luck to y'all. Did a great job. And let me see them kicks one more time, man. College football players today, man. <laughs> College football <laughs> players today. We've got more coming up here in Norfolk, Virginia for the 2018 Mid-East Athletic Conference Football Day. Who's next? America's Black College. My alma mater, Howard University, will be joining us next here from the 2018 Mid-East Athletic Conference Football Media Day.